Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie. Our Lord asked me to do a video every day. It wasn't my idea. I didn't want to do videos <laughs> and especially did not want to do a video every day. But in obedience to the leading of the Spirit of God, I do. And I'm I'm anointed to do so because it's the will of God. He's asked me to do it. I wait upon Holy Spirit and he tells me each day what to share. Today was no different. As I waited upon him, Lord, what does our father, what does my father want me to share today in the video? He said, love one another. And I knew instantly in my spirit, he was referring to John chapter 13, verse 34. When Jesus said, I give you a new commandment, commandment to love one another as I have loved you. You are to love one another. And if you read verse 35, and all will know you are my disciples by the love that you have for one another. You see, love can be seen in the words we speak, our behavior. Love can be seen. You know those who walk by the Spirit of God because I walk in love. <laughs> if you read uh, 1 Corinthians, um, I think it's chapter 14, or is it 13? I think it's 13. I haven't read it for a little while. If you do not have love, you know, if you do, if you can, you can prophesy. You can walk in all the giftings. You can have a huge ministry and platform. You can raise the dead. But if you do not have love, it does not profit you. It's a clanging symbol, meaningless. If you're walking by the Spirit of God, you're going to walk in love. Everything you do comes from an overflow of His love in your heart to others. You will prophesy in love. You'll walk in the giftings in love. You'll extend love. Love will come forth. God is love. How can one say that they love God and hate their brother? No, that would be a contrary spirit. Because Holy Spirit will lead us to love, to lay down our differences. To extend grace and love. It doesn't mean you become a doormat and condone people's not nice behavior towards you. But it does mean that you will choose to respond in love. Even if it means wipe your feet off the dust and walk away. You'll do so in love. You don't come back at that person. We never come against a person. Okay, because it's not flesh and blood that we fight. It's the enemy, the unseen forces that will influence a person against you. You love one another. So I'm going to read, I kind of digressed a little bit there, but I think it needed to be spoken. Love can be seen. It's not I'm going to sprout all these wonderful verses out. Look what I can do. Clanging symbol. If you are not walking in love. You become like the one in whom you fix your gaze upon. Jesus is love. You will love. It means laying down your life for others. <laughs> it means doing something you don't really want to do. Love can be seen. Love will speak life and blessings. Love will extend grace when someone does something that you know is actually not right. Love will have you pray for them. From the heart. 
not against them. Because that would be soulish prayers, witchcraft prayers. Love will have you pray out of love, earnestly desiring their good and that God will intervene in their lives and cause a good outcome for all concerned. Love can be seen. So we saw how Jesus so loved us, God so loved us, he gave us his only begotten son. Jesus loved us so much and in obedience to the Father laid down his life, allowed himself to be tortured. His body was beyond recognition. Then whilst on the cross in agony took upon himself our sin. Our punishment came upon him while he was hanging on the cross. That's love. While I was on the cross, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Okay. It's a dying to self. When you love, you'll deny yourself, you'll pick up your cross, you'll follow Jesus, because Jesus is love. He came to serve, to destroy the works of the enemy, to save the world, to save us. He came to serve. He showed us how to serve in love, in humility, not esteeming himself above others, Though he was God in flesh, he walked in love and compassion. That's our Lord Jesus. He is our example. Let me read to you John 13, 34 to 35. This is Jesus speaking. It's in red ink in my Bible. A new... Our beloved Jesus recorded speaking this. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. That you also love one another. So as he has loved us, we also should love that way, one another. By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another it doesn't say they'll know you are my disciples because you have a great ministry or big platform you're walking in the giftings you can prophesy you can do great charity works love a person who's walking by the spirit of God will walk in love They'll extend love. Love will be seen. Hallelujah. Without love, it'll be a clanging symbol. It'll be good for nothing. No profit for you in heaven. It might look good in front of man, but it'll not profit you. When you walk in love, God is love. How God's released. His will and purposes will be done. Hallelujah! Whether it's just an encouraging word to someone, a pat on the back to someone, well done. Having a Facebook page, a ministry, a big platform. These are all good things. If done in love. Hallelujah. And there's many out there who do have big platforms and ministries being led by the Spirit of God in love. And there's many that's not. <laughs> but we look at ourselves. We look at our own walk in the Lord and the fear and trembling. We can only walk in love if we submit and surrender to the Spirit of God. That's with every believer. That we ourselves receive the love of the Father. To love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul and strength and love others as Jesus loves them can only be possible if we yield 
to the Spirit of God who's with every believer and he'll minister to our hearts so we can love God, love ourselves and love others and walk in love. Without Holy Spirit it's not possible because the sinful nature of man is selfish. But we're a new creation in Christ who's taken us out of that we are to walk by the Spirit of God, not by the old human nature that will have us lean towards selfishness. What's it in it for me? <laughs> We're a new creation, born again of Spirit. Hallelujah! He will lead and guide us in love. This, this message is important. I can feel the power of God come upon me. Here we go. This message, <clears throat> Whew, here we go, is important to God. Holy Spirit, have your way. He said, I am love. If you're walking by the Spirit of God, you will walk in love. You'll display His fruits. And one of his fruits is love. You will walk in love. Toward yourself and toward others. If you're walking in carnality and flesh. You're going to be walking in something contrary. Not of God. The sinful nature that is selfish. Looking to self. Looking to others. It is in the carnality, the flesh, that the enemy can influence us against ourselves and against others even against God we need to walk by the Spirit very important to walk to be led by Holy Spirit those who are led by the Spirit are sons and daughters of God we're meant to be led by the Spirit okay keep having your way Holy Spirit I'm going to read out to you some of the lyrics in a song and it's called Love Each Other by Graham Kendrick we sing this regularly in Home and Park Church Father's Home and Park Church not our church, his church I'm going to read it out to you and I'm going to put the link to this song below the description of this video this was Jesus when he washed the feet of the disciples. Our Lord Jesus did this. All the room was hushed and still. And when the bow, the bowl was filled, he, Jesus, stooped to wash their feet. And when it was complete, he said, This is what I'm asking you to do. This is why I'm kneeling here beside you. This is what I want my church to be. This is what I want the world to see. Who it is you follow. Love each other. One another. Love each other in the way I have loved you. Walk together. And whatever comes, love each other. Well, whatever comes, we're to love one another, lay down our differences, and walk in the unity, the Spirit of God, and a bond of peace. Don't come at one another. Don't use the Bible to attack one another. Love one another. Settle your differences if you can. If you can't, if you've got differing of opinion, different understanding of doctrine and belief, you can still walk in love one another. That's being mature in Christ. That is walking by the Spirit. As much as it is possible, be at peace with one another. If they will not be at peace with you, you wipe your feet off the dust and walk away, but you can still love them with your prayers. <laughs> okay 
It says in this song, who it is you follow. If we follow Jesus, we're going to walk in love. If you read Matthew, chapter 16, verse 24. This is Jesus again in red ink. It's, it's in red ink. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. I won't keep going, but the part of this verse is, if you want to follow Jesus, truly follow Jesus, you need to deny self, you need to deny how you feel about something, your belief, your understanding. Pick up your cross. Crucify that flesh that's trying to rise up against someone. Crucify the flesh that's trying to have you do something you know is not of God. Follow Jesus. He's our example. And he said today by his spirit, love one another. A new commandment I have given you. Love one another. I can feel the weight of those words. And it's by the Spirit of God. This is Father's heart for his children. Only by walking it by in his spirit, led by his spirit, in the spirit, led by him, can we love one another and have unity with the brethren. I was shown two visions, the end time army. They looked like everyday normal people, but there was a difference. They took authority over the realms of darkness, that was a given. They walked in signs and wonders, that's a given. Those who believe signs and wonders will follow. Jesus has given us the authority over the, the realms of darkness, Luke ten nineteen. Well, what made them different? Wasn't their big ministry, big platform? Wasn't all their works? They walked in love, led by the Spirit. And they did it in unity. That vision, those visions have stayed with me. My heart is for unity in Father's Church around the world. And that will only happen if we're walking by the Spirit of God in love. You will defeat the forces of the enemy. You will overcome. Because God is love. And God is all-powerful. When you walk in love, the power of God is released. I've seen it happen. Jesus was moved by compassion and all were healed. The Holy Spirit will move you into love. To lay down your differences. To crucify the flesh that's trying to rise up. Maybe being influenced by the demonic. He'll move you in compassion. He'll move you to forgive those who come against you. He will move you to walk in unity, in a bond of peace. It always comes back to Holy Spirit, our helper, our counsellor, our comforter, our teacher. Oh, it's going to go back to this prayer. I did a prayer. The Lord had me do um, write out a prayer. It's by heaven. It's heaven sent. And I did a video where I had everybody, encouraged everyone to repeat that prayer and to live it through unction of Holy Spirit. I'm going to put the link for that video below the description of this video. You need to know the Spirit of God. And, he's, and He is with every believer. You need to know Holy Spirit and have a relationship with Him and walk with Him, be led by Him. He will enable you to love.
truly love. Not a selfish love, what can I get out of this? Not a conditional love, if you behave the way I think you should, I will love you. But if you hurt me, I'm going to turn from you and have nothing more to do with you. That's not love. God's love is unconditional. You're going to love regardless how may they may speak towards you, about you, behave towards you. You will love them. It doesn't mean you condone any bad behavior. There's nothing wrong with healthy boundaries. And if they will not receive you and they persist in that behavior, God might just have you wipe your feet of the dust and walk away. But learn and grow through it. As you yield to Holy Spirit, submitting all and laying everything at the feet of Jesus, you will grow and learn through it. Adversity through people, if you will give it over to God, lay it down at his feet, you will grow. You will learn from it and not complain and come against them because we do not come against flesh and blood. You take authority over the realms of darkness that could be influencing them. Hallelujah. <laughs> Only by the Spirit of God can we walk in love, in unity, extend grace. We need Holy Spirit. So I encourage you to look at the links below the description of this video. For the video. I did a few days ago with a prayer in it that I have you been have you walking by the Spirit of God yielding to him you will learn to love God and love yourself and love others this is the message today love one another Jesus said a new commandment I give you is for all of us love one another as I have loved you he died for us. He gave himself up for us. And now, when he was raised, he raised us up with him. We sit, are seated with him in heavenly places, high above the heads of the enemy. All victory is now with our Lord Jesus. When we look to Jesus, we have the victory overcome. His spirit will empower us, enable us to overcome. 1 John 4, 4. We are children of God. We are overcomers because greater is he, the spirit of God with us, than he, the enemy in the world. Hallelujah. See, the enemy still has, the world still under sway of the enemy. We're not meant to be off the world. We're meant to be in the kingdom of God, in kingdom of light, led by his spirit. And then you'll always get the victory and always overcome and get the breakthroughs. Hallelujah. Walk by the Spirit of God. Stay in the Spirit. Don't yield to the desires of your flesh, negative thoughts about yourself or others. Yield to Holy Spirit. Go to Him. Sit back in what I call the comfy chair of Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, what's the truth about the matter? Holy Spirit, I'm going to lean, rely and trust in you to uphold me now and show me and lead me through whatever is happening. And he will. He will. It's dependency on him. What he can do in your life and through your life. It's no more looking to self. Because when you're looking to yourself or looking to others, it's flesh. If you're looking to self, you're looking to your own strength. There's a struggle. There's a hardship. Like an uphill battle. Oh, but when you're walking by the Spirit, you're looking to our Lord Jesus, and you walk in the power of His might, things change. Life, peace, joy, love. Okay, this video will get quite long if I keep going, so I'm going to stop now. <laughs> See, when you're led by the Holy Spirit, He'll just come forth. You have a conversation of someone who's led by the Spirit and, this, and, the, and the conversation blossoms full of life. 
So Holy Spirit, I ask that you minister to every person who's watching, please, that the message was released and prosper in the hearts of all those who, who um, are watching this this video. But Father, I ask also that it will prosper in the hearts of your children around the world. That we will walk by your Spirit, led by your Spirit, stay in the Spirit, that we will walk in love toward one another, that we will love each other, truly love each other and be in unity, led by the Spirit of God to be that end time army. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, thank you for ministering to their hearts because I can feel him moving now. I know Holy Spirit. We do life together. It's a relationship. So Holy Spirit, I ask for everyone who's watching right now that they'll have a relationship with you. Sensitive to your voice, led by you, by your unction. To lay down self. Deny self. Pick up the cross daily and follow Jesus. He's our example. We don't follow people. We don't follow how other Christians are living. We follow Jesus. But we follow, if someone's walking by the Spirit of God, that we will follow because they're going to display the fruits of our Lord Jesus. Truly display the fruits of Holy Spirit. Of our Lord Jesus is his spirit within us and the first thing you're going to look at is love not great ministry not walking in miracles and signs and wonders gifts how many likes I got on the Facebook page or shares how many views I got on the YouTube channel are they walking in love are they walking in love Go to Holy Spirit and he'll let you know. You get a witness in your spirit. You'll know. Those who are doing ministry for self or those who are truly doing ministry in the love of God for his for the brethren, for the children of God. Because love will be seen. And there's some amazing people out there who are walking in love. And the power of God being released for those who do follow their ministry. Because love is powerful. God is love. And God makes a way when there seems to be no way. When you walk in love, it makes a way when there seems to be no way. If you're walking in a contrary spirit, walking by the flesh, well, that doesn't happen, the good things. <laughs> you need to walk by the spirit. Okay, I said I was going to stop. God bless you all. God bless you. Love each other. Love each other. Love one another. Love yourself. Love God. Love others. In Jesus' name. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.